Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Not Long Before Falcon finally finds a way to mess things up. And last episode we had a bit of a hiccup finally. We had been going on for like, what, three or four episodes straight without much of a hitch? It was actually going really impressive. But we had a bit of an issue. The issue was that apparently just um assigning the stalls over to this um, household chemistry museum and moving my vendors there alone was enough to get the... Um, junky party happening without me being aware and I was too fixated on getting the basement set up after moving my best sellers over to this area that I didn't see what was going on and we had some junkies going angry couldn't figure out where the hell it was when I did find out too late we lost two of my best sellers and you know it sucks because we lost 10 potential customers at the household chemistry museum it's not the end of the world though because we could obviously retrain sellers not a big deal and even though we lost 10 potential buyers here all we did now was, at least I did off camera, was I moved the production from Rap Dude over to here now, and we're gonna sell over on Rap Dude instead. So, you know, it's not really a big deal. It's not gonna change anything, but it happened. However, before we make this commitment yet again, I'm gonna make sure that we have some sellers here before we even make the stalls this time around, just in case. Because anyway, we have like, you know, um, dope over here ready to go, and we have a lot of backup here too. So, um, homeboy here. You cannot drop over at Raptu just yet because we need to stall, right? Yeah. So we'll hold on to you there for a second, though. Um, we're going to have to hire... I'm going to move... My plan here for now is two stalls, but I want to expand over to three at some point. But I'm not sure that's going to be possible. Because um, with three, we might be going through the shelf too fast, maybe? We'll start off with two, and then we'll go to three and see if it works out. So right now, we need one more seller to give me a hand over here. Give Brendan a hand. Who was the other guy who survived that wild junkie uprising last time around so i'm gonna hire one more junk um seller obviously i'm gonna move one of my better ones over here and hopefully he doesn't meet the same fate as the other good guys did uh let's see who's my top dog left over over here well i guess we could probably do it a lot easier by rap dude let's come over to sellability and eddie is my last good dude at the basement actually yeah eddie maybe yeah sure why not eddie so eddie come over here Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before we send Eddie over there, let's have a backup for Eddie over here. So, no. We'll rotate. 1.1, 1 1.3, 1.2, 1.3. Not having much luck here. Way to go. Raymond, 1.7. We'll pick up Raymond over here. Alrighty. So, Raymond is going to be hanging out somewhere in the way, as usual. They like to do that. Where's Raymond at? That's Grady. Raymond? I think Raymond's right here. Raymond, move down here, my friend. Alright, so Eddie's the one moving over to Raptu. So, sellability. Eddie. Yes. Come over here. And you take over wherever he left off from. What, what's the stall that he left? That one right here. Alright, business as usual. Okay, so we should be fine here, right? Not a big deal. Everybody's cool. Everybody's fine. Everybody's dandy. Alrighty, how's the patients over here? 57. How's this uh, junkie over here? 45. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Over here, we have two good sellers ready to go. So I think we're finally ready to open up for business. So let's do it. We have a rest area. We have some battery rooms. We have a bunch of leftover power. So let's start it off again. <laughs> Hopefully, it doesn't bite me in the butt this time. And wait, wait a second here. You, my friend, do not pick from Raptor anymore. You're not picking for Raptor, right? Drop location will be wrapped, dude, but not for now. So what you're going to be doing is picking from Household Chemistry Museum. Okay. And you will be dropping off at Rap Dude once I have the stall. That's the plan. So, boom. Can you do it now? Can you drop there now? No. It has to be up and running first. Alrighty. So, we'll probably do the upgrades for more customers to kind of even out the fact that we lost potential 10 over here to only 6 over on this side. Alrighty. Brendan, you'll take over the first one, I'm going to say. Just because this dude's in the way and I can't highlight him. There you go. There you go. Four out of six. Wow. That's instantly a bunch of people. We're going to have to get this one up and running really fast then. Um, like now. Okay. Yeah, I can see why they go crazy really fast. And you are going to do upgrade for... I'm going to say selling for now. Let's not do the more customers. I think we have more than enough right now. So we'll do selling here for now. And you, my friend, are going to drop... At rap dude. So you're dropping. You're picking and dropping. Okay, that's how we're doing that one. And you get ready to come over here and start serving these uh, junkies. 
Let's get the upgrade for selling as well. Okay, so we're maxed out six of six with only two stalls. How many stalls did we have here to begin with? We had like four, right? Wow, no wonder. <laughs> no wonder they had an uprising really fast. For this one, it's two, uh, three junkies. Well, actually, it's obviously four junkies per stall with this one. Yeah, customers four. Wow, so we were just had we had a shit ton of them over there happening, huh? Hmm. Alrighty, so let's see how this is going. We have a bunch over here being stocked up. So that's fine. How is the patience going on with the junkies? Make sure they don't go crazy on us. Patience is 98. By you. 50? <laughs> they keep closing the doors and I can't see them. I want to see them behind the doors, damn it. 43, 59. Yeah, it looks like we're doing fine. We might actually have to develop more smack, oddly enough. So, ooh, we don't have enough room for that. Uh-oh. Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> it's funny because I have the upgrades over here for more production, by the way. It's 200. We get tired fast, but we, produce, we, we do produce a lot more. Mmm, boy, oh boy. Boy, oh boy. Do we need, um... We don't need an extra battery here, right? We could kill 15... Actually, I was considering... Let's remove the battery and put another stall here. Have, like, a home dude over here just doing that as well, but I'm not sure it's gonna work out. I think we're fine, though, right? I think we're fine. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. We have two extra rooms here, I actually. Just realized that. So how about we just do a battery and another atom stand, just in case I'm a bit worried about it. So let's do battery room for one. And over here we will do just another atom stand. I'm not sure how comfortable I feel about having my drug production lab on the top floor, <laughs> but it should work, right? Who's gonna notice? I mean, come on, look how many how many things are happening in this uh, city alone, nobody ever says anything. You just bribe the cops anyway, so that's fine. Alrighty, so... Battery's up and running, let's go ahead and upgrade it. Install. And over here, we will go ahead and get another atom stand. Or a dope kitchen, anyway, not atom stand. So do that one right there. Oh, we need another producer then. Um, we have room for two more hires as well, so... Let's see. Hire a dude to produce for us. 1.2, 1.8 Tracy, there you go. So we'll hire Tracy here for now. I'm gonna send one of my better guys over to there, though, and I'll have Tracy take over that spot. So from the basement over to household chemistry is what we're doing. So basement district, we're looking for the best seller here. That would be, or producer is what I'm looking for, producer. That would be Cruz, alrighty, so Cruz, Cruz Bustamante. Uh, get you down here. I'm pretty sure Cruz Bustamante is like a, like a government official in the California area. That's the reason why that name is kind of really familiar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. If not, I have no idea where that came from. Uh, Cruz, yes, come over to this area. And you should be fine. Um, Tracy is where? Tracy's right here. You're going to be taking over that one right here. That's the one he left over. There goes Cruz. You'll take over Cruz's spot. And we're looking pretty good over here too, right? For once, we're actually not overflowing the um, the shelves over here. Quite surprised. I'm not sure that's a good thing in the long run, but for now, it's fine. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. So, we moved um, Cruz over here. You take over the stall, my friend. And let's go ahead and upgrade it to produce a lot faster. Okay. How are we doing now? We have three people producing dope for us, and we're selling it off over here. And we're keeping this over here stocked up. I think at this point we do not open up the third one that I was actually considering doing. I think this is more than enough for now. Patience 44. Yeah, we're fine. We're perfectly fine. 140 per each one. Yeah, that's good. Alrighty, that's really good. <laughs> we came through. Um, we're keeping our shelves a little bit empty here, so we're still not producing as much as I would like, but so be it. So be it. Alrighty, so that's fine here. Um, we could do psychotherapists as a backup, mind you. We could just um, make another production area of uh, dope here and just have the van move from here to here and here to here and keep it that way. And we could also use a construction site for that, but this has more depth, so we might be able to do something more fun over at the construction site area. Hmm. Yeah, alrighty. So that's looking fine. And I haven't been to... Um, <laughs> Hobo Den. I like the bunker in Hobo Den because I completely have forgotten about this area, but it runs by itself so smoothly. I don't even have to be here. I'm like a real boss for once, you know? The operation runs so smoothly. I don't even have to be here. 
<laughs> Whether I'm here or not, if anything, me being here is gonna probably screw things up. With me not here, everything's fine. Um, how is my training doing? Uh, let's see here. I think everybody's maxed now too, right? Yeah, we're, we're just completely fine everywhere else. I'm not sure if I want to take on Bad Boy Home Place yet, but hey, we're getting a bit more closer to it, I would say. This area over here is really huge too. Marketplace. What the hell is this? What? Why is this dealer room twice as big? Oh, good god, I've never seen that one before. That's crazy. Can I can I do that myself? Is that a feature that I that I could unlock over here somewhere? Hey. Can you guys combine? Can your powers combine? Can you turn into Captain Planet or something? No. That's interesting. Huh. Alrighty. Anyway, yeah, I kind of want to come over here now and do that. Marketplace. Now, if I was to do that, this is obviously a place we'd be selling, considering the size of it. Over here, we could produce for it, too. Yeah. Let's send my people over to take over Stoner's Pod Palace, I'm thinking. And then we can move over to the Marketplace. I like that idea a lot. Let's do it. Um, fighters, you haven't been used in a while. I think the operation is running smoothly over here. I can leave you guys alone, right? You guys will be fine without me? Yeah? I think you'll be fine. Okay. Psychotherapist's office, I'm going to skip you here for now. Uh, we're going over here to fight the Stoner's Pod Palace. We only have two guys in there. Wow, you guys are in for a rough match, my friends. Stoner's Pod Palace. Alrighty, let's send... My fighters, where are my damage potential dudes over here? We'll send Willie, old Willie Will, and we will also send Lieutenant Surge as well. I like that coalition right there. Anyway, we'll send three people just in case, you know? We'll send Fletcher, and we'll send Walter. Walter the non-chemist, he's basically the uh, fighter version of Walter. Say my name. Alright, so there he goes. Perfect, you guys just hang out, watch the fort here for a while, we'll see how these guys do. Production is moving nicely over to this side, and we're moving product over here just as well. Yeah, as long as we're keeping this almost stocked up, I think we're fine. So, it's not too big a concern. Yeah, we're keeping it just about almost stocked, once we have this back up here. Alrighty. How's it going over here? Did you guys get here already, or what? There they go. <laughs> they took the scenic route, apparently. I was taking our time. Alrighty, punch him. Get him down! Yeah! Oh, this guy's next. Oh! No! Ooh, we almost lost somebody right there, too. You guys need to learn the, the, the tactician of double-teaming people. It's fine. There's no honor among fights here. You're all drug dealers, in a sense. You're all criminals. There's no honor here. Just, you know, gang-bang each other. And by gang-bang, I'm talking about, like, you know, a gang fight. Not the other kind of gang-banging, okay? I don't want that happening here. It's a PG show, even though we're selling drugs and, you know, cursing all the time. But... No gangbang, okay? Let's make that perfectly clear right now. Uh, you guys are ready to come back, right? Stoner's Pod Palace. So we're going to start moving some people over here to start producing. You guys think we're ready for um, speed, the final one? Speed, the final frontier? I think we are. So uh, for now, though, let's move my fighters back over here. District, Stoner's Pod Palace. Move you guys back over here and get your HP back. Whatever needs to happen has to happen. Alrighty, before we start considering... Oh, let's check this out, though. This is actually pretty bad. We cannot go underground over here. Ha. Huh. Interesting. So, if anything, we should probably grab the ex-girlfriend's flat. Because this is strictly an area we're using to sell. Because you can't go underground. I mean, you don't have to sell. You could obviously develop drugs up here, but... Huh. Ha <laughs> ha. How would I work this one out? I'm curious. Let's demolish this here for now. Let's not cause any ruckus here in the future. Uh, I'm not sure how to really work this one out right now. We can go down underground. We have the ex-girlfriend's flat. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know that extra room that we have, the psychotherapist's office, which I was considering making more, um, smack for? I think we're doing just fine over here, as you can see. That's barely ever going down beyond that point. Psychotherapist's office is going to be a room for us to get more employees or stuff like that. So, I'm going to go ahead and... It's also my garage area if I'm right, so we can't destroy that. Let me build some battery rooms here. I'm also going to go ahead and just demolish that one right now. And I want to make this an employee room area. 
and we're gonna use this area here to expand more people over because we need to start getting some more people available if we plan to move them over to the edge of the map here so yeah I think that's the best course of action for the psychotherapist's office, which we're not even using anyway. If we obviously need at some point more smack, which we won't, I mean look at that, it's already completely packed, we could always use the construction site for it. So not a big deal. Let's go ahead and drop some upgrades, drop, upgrade, and um, if this is going to be mainly just for employee rooms, I don't think we need any restrooms here, so we'll demolish that one, demolish this. Okay. So, build room, employee, and employee. So we'll basically be running our, <laughs> in a sense, this is going to be our hiring office. So we have people come into the psychotherapist's office, we evaluate their needs and whatever this is wrong with them, and then we conclude after this interview whether they're going to be part of our crew or not. So this will be the hiring room, over here is where we send them to train. And then over here is where we send them to the big leagues and everything like that. This is like a really crazy operation we have going on here. I kind of really like it. Upgrade. And upgrade. Alrighty, good. So we're fine here. Um, we have room for nine or ten more people to hire. That's great. And we'll probably even make this one another one down the line. But for now, we'll just leave it this way. This is fine. We have more than enough um, room to hire more people now. So, with that being said... How do we want to play this one out now? Are we going underground? Or are we just going to develop up front? Do we take over the ex-girlfriend's flat and develop here for this area? I mean, what's the uh, protocol here? Let's start off by... Demolishing this. If we made this strictly selling, we could do one, two, three, four, and two s shelves. Would that work out? If it's going to be the big high drug though, which is going to be speed, it might not work out that well. So, I mean, unless we want to sell it here instead. If so, what we could then do, then do here is um, we'll do battery room, speed, speed, restroom, shelf. Man, I don't think we're going to have enough. Let me build a battery here just in case. I want to check how this is going to work out. Yeah, this might actually not wind up being what we wanted it for. The speed production. I think the speed production is going to actually happen over here instead. Here, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with them yet. Not really too sure. How you guys doing here? All fine? Yep, all fine. And the selling is going pretty spendly here. We're making a bunch of money. This is my employee room. You guys are over here doing your thing. Oh, by the way, did we get you um, healed up after the last fight? At least one of you needs healing. Much I do know. Apparently not. Here we go. No, no, no. Hey, went out of the way. Come over here and come rest up. You're fine. Okay, good. Uh, let's come back over here then. So let's uh, increase this here first. Now then, if, if, if I was looking for speed finally, it's going to be five customers by one alone. So let's keep that in mind. Oh, we're not doing that. We're, we're doing the uh, this right here. So this is going to be 12 power just without the upgrade. The upgrade is going to be another 3, we would say. So we'd say 15, right? If we want two of these, and we do, we need 15. 15. We need 30 power just alone for the atom stand and the upgrade. 30 alone. Obviously, we're not even close to that. We need a restroom, two atom stands, a shelf. We need two battery rooms then. So... Let's try this out like this. We'll do one more battery room. We'll go ahead and just upgrade this to rest a lot faster as well. Even if this doesn't plan out the way I'm planning it right now, I, I don't mind losing the money. I'm just kind of trying to, I guess, space it out in my head here. It's going to work out. So once we get this battery and we upgrade it, we'll see how much we have. Remember, we need 30 alone for two stands. Two production tables, I should say. Um, we're at 35. Yes, we would be able to do it. Just enough, as a matter of fact. So, we'll come over here and let's start making the Atom. And... Atom. Cool. And now, assuming it's only going to be three upgrade per upgrade, then we'll be fine. So we'll over here just produce Atom, and then um, move it over here. Then we'll have a... We'll take over the ex-girlfriend's flat, just so we can unlock this car. And we'll have it be moved to the marketplace, and this will be where we start selling most of the uh, speed. 
And let's get the upgrades happening here. Two, three is what it's actually asking me for. Perfect. We'll do production 200 and production 200. All righty, good. We have the Stoner's Pod Palace ready to go for speed. Everything's fine. We'll hire some people and take over those spots next episode. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a thumbs up, leave a like to support. Doesn't mean a lot. I will catch you next time.